Hey, my name is Tanya Papanikolov. I'm a holistic nutritionist and the founder and CEO of a mushroom company called Rainbow. And we are, I'm sitting in a tree and we're in a forest um, just outside of Los Angeles. This is an area called Switzer Falls and we're going to take a walk through nature and marvel at fungi and just invoke a sense of awe in the natural world and its healing properties. Fungi are a separate life form, so in the way that animals are a life form, plants are a life form, fungi have their own kingdom and they're an extremely diverse kingdom. And we actually kind of separated or diverged from fungi about nine million years after we diverged from plants. So we're actually more closely associated and related to a fungus than we are to a plant, which is kind of hard to imagine, but like from a functional perspective, we actually digest our foods in a similar way. And, um, you know, we exhale CO2 and our, I guess our, you know, our cell structures are really similar. Um, we also consume food from our environment and whereas a plant would get that from the sun. Um, so it is a little known fact actually that we're more closely related to this species. Um, and you know, something that fungi have really taught me is so many things really, but um, there's this ability that they have to open our minds in extraordinary ways. So whether it's through, you know, this really big realization of the role they play in nature as, you know, this massive network and kind of connective layer that it is only a cell wall thick and yet it pervades all natural habitats. A forest is only a forest because of fungi and because of this really base structure that exists under the ground that connects. It's like this, you know, microscopic highway um, that's like weaving its way through landscapes and um, forests and basically all all natural landscapes and they build our soil they're vital for um, the health of an ecosystem and it's through this mycelial network which is really kind of the the large body of of what like of what a fungus is um, so we have this mycelial network that is invisible to the eye, to the naked eye, unless you kind of go digging. Um, and, and that is this highway, this information highway that's connecting the plants and the trees and is exchanging information and is basically just this vast network where things are all happening um, underneath the ground. There's like tons of organisms and bacteria and, bac and you know, viruses that are all using this web of life to kind of confer information, um, ecological, biological information through a forest. You know, as we start to learn the ways that there is this like interconnectivity that's so dependent on fungi, we start to learn more about the natural worlds. We see examples of interdependence and codependence really beautifully mirrored in nature and that has opened my mind and eyes and view in such a drastic way. Um, they also invite us into their habitat and their environment, which is um, a wonderful place to be invited because it's, it makes us feel so good to be in nature. And that's an inherent part of their medicine that they give us too, is this ability to open our minds, open our hearts, open our, you know, our, our, you know, interest in nature. And so every time I take a walk in the woods, I take a moment and just like breathe in the freshness of this air. And, you know, there's like compounds in the air um, that are natural compounds and chemical compounds from these trees and plants and funguses and animals um, that we breathe in and that literally like activates our immune system. And so like, you know, science has proven that we have these natural killer cells that are activated through just a couple hours in, in a forest. Um, and so I think there's this like big invitation, you know, with fungi where we're being invited 
back to our home, back to our most natural home, back to where we will go and where we came from. Um, and that is, you know, this, this beautiful place and space that we can come back to and come home to. Close your eyes, drop into your body and into this present moment. Deep breath in through your nose, two, three, four. Big breath out through your nose, two, three, four. Continuing to breathe long and deep. Feel your sit bones root into the ground, connecting those roots all the way deep into the earth. Feel that connection deepen, those roots strengthen. Take a deep breath into the belly and send that breath all the way down into these roots. Inhale. Exhale. Connect to your heart space. Bring your awareness and your mind into the center of your chest. Deep breath in, two, three, four. Deep breath out, two, three, four. Feel a connection to a source of energy much larger than yourself that is pure and ineffable. And let that energy flow through you with ease, like an empty vessel receiving. Deep breath in, two, three, four. Deep breath out, two, three, four. Feel, sense, and know this connection, this interdependence, and this freedom available to you anytime, anywhere, in the space just behind your eyelids. We go inward to connect outward. Peace.